Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we are talking about the factors that makes Day the best fighter in the world. And after you've watched the video, you'll much easier be able to adapt the same strategies into your own gameplay. Let's shoot for 1500 likes on today's video. And with that said, let's get into today's episode the first and one of the most notable factors that makes day such an incredible fighter is his ability to track what opponents are doing through walls and i don't mean track them with his smg or shotgun but track them in the sense of knowing where they are at all times during a fight this again means that the first mistake the opponent makes day quickly capitalizes off of it and either straight up eliminate him or get a lot of damage off. In order to practice this skill, you need to play solo arena and have full focus on your opponent during your fights. And actively try very hard not to lose track of him even for one second. Mr. Savage, Noah Rayleigh, and Vidil are all players who also master this skill. And if you want to become good at it, you gotta force yourself into playing solo arena and hard focusing on only tracking your opponent. Day does not care about having super fast and flashy mechanics. And instead, he puts his all into being as consistent as he possibly can. As you can tell by Day's building, he doesn't build more than he has to to eliminate an opponent. Not building more than you have to goes hand in hand with being able to track your opponent during a fight at a very high level. A lot of players are insanely good mechanically, but very bad at tracking opponents during fights. This often results in them getting tagged for a little bit of chip damage, and they have to restart the fight as a result result of that. Day never allows anyone to deal chip damage to him. This is because of his incredible awareness during fights and his consistent and precise building and editing mechanics, never building more than he has to to eliminate any enemy. Day is also a master of starting any fight with an advantage. Day puts a massive amount of focus into always getting the first shot off in a fight. Because when starting a fight, Day is usually always 200 HP. And if he can tag an opponent for just 50 damage, he knows that he can play as aggressively as we so often see him play. When Day sees an enemy, he is very good at sneaking up on him without getting noticed. And sometimes, as a result of this sneak, he can get a 100 plus damage tag. When Day gets the first shot without taking any damage back, the fight is more often than not over. So what we can learn from this is to always focus super hard on not taking any damage in the start of a fight. If we can be the player that deals damage first, we already have a much higher chance of winning the fight compared to if our opponent gets the first shot. So the next time you're playing a tournament and see some opponents, be very careful when you engage them and use some builds to cover yourself so they don't get the first shot on you, but rather so you get the first shot on them. One skill that very often is overlooked and not practiced is movement. And Day is one of the players with the best movement in fights. By practicing movement actively in Solar Arena, you will not only be a harder target to hit and box, but you'll also easier be able to hit more shots. Moving on, we're gonna be taking a look at someone who's fighting Day from their perspective. And I want you to think about how you would eliminate Day in this fight. So as you guys can see, Day's movement is superb. He doesn't make any mistakes. And Day is such a good player that any tiny little mistake you make will get heavily punished. Day right now is playing perfectly defensively aggressively. He's being patient and waiting for his opportunity. And that's another thing Day is great at, taking the opportunities he is given. He never wastes the opportunities he is given, and as soon as he gets it in this fight, he capitalizes off of it and eliminates this opponent. And lastly, you can't talk about Day without talking about AIM. And I know everyone is gonna say, Kronosen, Kronosen. But keep in mind, Day played insane at LAN 2. And Kronosen or not, it's the combination of being able to constantly track opponents during fights, amazing movement, and highly consistent builds and edits that allows him to have arguably the best AIM 
in all of Fortnite. But guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's daily upload. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. And with that all being said, please go on to have an amazing night. My name is Marion TM. Stay safe and take care.